Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Messy Church. My name's Paul Carr. I'm the minister at Emmanuel Church, and it's Sunday, the 15th of November, 2020. It's November already. How quickly the year has gone. Now, normally, uh, we'd be in church and we'd have Messy Church in the hall, but because of lockdown two, we're not able to do that this morning, which is a real disappointment. But I know some of us had a little Zoom earlier before where we're able to say hello to everybody else from Messy Church. And now we have our pre-recorded Messy Church service with the songs that you like to sing, a new song that you've never sung before, but it's one that you can dance along to. And uh, the usual prayers and a Bible story. Now, this morning, you will know that we are going to think about the story of the Good Samaritan. Well, actually, the Bible said it's a parable. And Jesus often um, told stories to explain something about the kingdom of God. And a parable is one of those stories. Now, um, a parable uh, is known as an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Can you say that? An earthly story with a heavenly meaning. That means God has something very important to teach us whenever we hear the word parable. Now, at the beginning of every messy church, we always sing the same song. I know Jesus loves me. And he loves all of us. He loves mums and dads. He loves strangers. He loves our neighbours. Uh, he loves children. And um, this is a great song to sing. It has some actions. And I'm sure you all know the words. Now, if you were in church, you wouldn't be able to sing. But because you're at home, you can sing as loud as you want. So why don't you ask your mum and dad to open the windows so that your neighbours can hear you praising God this morning. Now, I do expect that you will be dancing and doing the actions and singing as loud as you can. I've got to say, this is one of my favourite messy church songs. I know Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I know 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 he loves little ones as much as he loves dads and mums. Yes, I know Jesus loves me. loves me I know Jesus loves me I know Jesus loves me I know Jesus loves me I know he loves little ones as much as he loves dads and mums yes I know Jesus loves me and I know he loves you too So, were you singing loud and doing the actions? I hope you were. I'll ask mum and dad when I see them and see what they had to say. But we're going to pray. And uh, what we often do when we come together to pray, we 
put our hands together and we close our eyes. Now, the reason we put our hands together is so that we're not fidget and fiddling with anything that's around. And sometimes we close our eyes so we can think about the prayer that we are praying. So you can either put your hands together like that or what I often do is this. So just repeat the prayer that I say. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you are with us today as we offer you our praise. Bless each one of us this morning as we enjoy messy church together. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. You know, and the great thing about us all praying together this morning, that God isn't limited by closed doors and the fact that we're all meeting together separately. I do believe he hears our prayer as we pray together. So I mentioned earlier that um, we're going to be looking at the story of the Good Samaritan and Eloise is going to read that for us now. Luke 10, verse 25 to 37, the Good Samaritan. One day a lawyer said to Jesus, I know the law says to love God with all my heart and love my neighbour as myself. But who is my neighbour? Jesus told him this story. A man was on his way to Jericho. Some robbers beat him and sold everything he had. The man was badly hurt and needed help. A priest came along, saw the man, but did not stop. A helper in the temple came along, saw the man, but did not stop. A Samaritan came along. When he saw the man, he stopped and cleaned up all the man's wounds. The Samaritan then lifted the man onto his own donkey and took him to an inn. They stayed at the inn and the Samaritan took really good care of the man all night long. In the morning, the Samaritan gave the innkeeper some money and said, Take good care of the man until I come back. When Jesus finished the story, he asked the lawyer, which one of the three men was the true neighbour? The lawyer said, the one that took care of the hurt man, Jesus said, go and do the same. So in our Bible reading, we know that Jesus was talking to a crowd of people and someone in the crowd was trying to trick Jesus when he asked the question, who is my neighbour? And of course the answer was, everyone, everyone is our neighbour. And um, we heard about a group of people called the Samaritans. Now the Samaritans weren't very well liked in Jesus' day. They were weren't treated very nicely, they weren't treated very well. In fact, some people would say that they were their enemy, uh, which isn't very nice, is it? And so if you were walking down the high street and you saw someone uh, lying down in the road who'd been robbed and they were bleeding and they needed some help, who do you think would stop to help? Well, the Bible talks about the priest walking past that's me i'm a priest i'm a vicar but jesus said the vicar didn't stop to help and he talked about other people who didn't stop to help the lawyer the one who knew the law the policeman somebody who should have been upholding the law nobody helped until the samaritan 
walk by this man's em enemy and he stopped to help. Now that's amazing because the very people who were this man's friends walk past but the one who was this man's enemy the Samaritan stopped to help and that's why we call him the good Samaritan because he did a good thing. Now would you stop and help your enemy? Somebody you didn't get on with at school. Somebody who upsets you in the playground. Somebody who lives in your neighbourhood that you don't like. Would you stop to help them? I'll give you a bit of time to think about that because I'd have to think about it as well. But that's not what Jesus says. Jesus wants us to be different. And the story of the Good Samaritan reminds us of the second greatest commandment. When Jesus said that was to love your neighbour as yourself. Can you say that? Love your neighbour as yourself. And that could be our memory verse for today taken from Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 and Jesus is asking us to do something different and sometimes it's not in our human nature to show mercy or to love our enemies but God says that we are to love and show mercy to everyone and that's with Jesus living in our hearts that's how we can do it. But in the story, we see how the good, good Samaritan didn't only just help the man. He went far beyond anything that he could have been expected to do. Because not only did he pick him up and take him to the doctor. He paid for his treatment. He took him there and he made sure there was enough money um, to make sure that this uh, injured man would be nursed back to full health. That's an amazing thing for an enemy to do towards an enemy. But Jesus teaches us how God shows love and mercy to us and that we should show love and mercy to others. And I wonder, can you think of anyone today in Billericay, especially during lockdown, that you could show mercy to, that you can show love to, that you can help in these difficult times? Well, some people are supporting the Billericay Food Bank, aren't they, uh, for those families who don't have enough to eat at this time of year, especially because mums and dads have lost their jobs or they're on furlough. If you don't know what that means, ask your mum and dad a bit later. We know some people are filling shoe buckles for Operation Ch Christmas Child so that children who live many miles away in Africa and other places in the poor countries in the world can enjoy Christmas for themselves. And in December, we will be collecting toys for changing pathways to support families who live locally who don't have much at Christmas. So lots of us, in many different ways, we can be a good Samaritan or a good neighbour to someone else. So can you remember who Jesus said was our neighbour? The answer is everyone. And remember, if we don't like someone, they are still our neighbour. So three things to remember this morning. Repeat them after me. We are to show mercy to everyone. Everyone is our neighbour. And we show God's love and mercy to them. Amen. Now we're going to sing a song that you've never sang before and it talks about every move I make and if we love Jesus and we follow him everything that we do 
should be uh, so it enable others to know something of the love and mercy of God for themselves. So make some space to do some dancing every move I make. Good Samaritan. So part of God's story is about a Good Samaritan, and it goes like this. When Jesus lived on earth, he often told stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a parable about a good guy from a place called Samaria, a Good Samaritan, to a group of Jewish people. It all started when a Jewish expert in the law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what do I have to do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he thought he already knew how to be perfect because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking, so he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Everybody listening was Jewish, and they could probably all picture the exact road Jesus was talking about. He continued, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. You might expect a priest who was supposed to serve God to help, but he didn't stop. Then Jesus said, a Levite came to the place and saw him, but he passed by on the other side too. 
Levites were assistants to priests, so maybe you'd expect them to help too. But he didn't stop either. Finally, Jesus said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria. That's near Israel, where God's family, Jews, lived. But here's the thing, Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. In fact, nobody hearing this story would ever expect a Samaritan to help because Samaritans and Jews couldn't stand each other. But Jesus said, when the Samaritan saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you have. Then Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law didn't even want to say the word Samaritan, but he admitted the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. In other words, go and love everyone, even people we don't like or people who everybody else wants to avoid. See, when we show love, we're obeying Jesus. Obeying God doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means loving him more than anything and showing his love to every single person that we meet. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. A man asked Jesus how to get eternal life. Jesus said, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then the man asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus told a story. If you missed Jesus' story, here's the quick, quick version. A Jewish man got beat up. A priest walked by. A priest assistant passed by. A man from Samaria actually did help. That was a surprise. Jesus had taught them, we obey God when we show love. And that's part of God's story. Let us pray. Father God, at this time when many people are finding life hard, we ask you to show us how we can help, just like the Good Samaritan. Make us kind and caring at home or at school, at work or play, so we can see how to do what pleases you. We pray for people we know who are sick, those who may have lost their jobs or are furloughed and don't have enough money to live on. People who live on their own and can't see their friends and loved ones in person. Father, comfort them and let them know how much you love them, just as you love us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now stand up and give yourselves plenty of space as we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hello everyone. This is just a little demo of the crafts this month, just to give you an idea. The first craft is the innkeeper and the Good Samaritan helping the stranger that's attacked. So we have to cut along that edge, cut a slit there and colour it all in. When it's all coloured in, it will look like that. And then when you've cut him out, you need to attach a lolly stick to the back of him with some sellotape and then he can move along towards the inn on the donkey. There, that's craft number one. Number two, it's all cut out for you. We've done the cutting out. 
you need to colour him and with the split pins you can make a donkey that all his legs move, his tail moves, his head moves and his ears move. So he's really good fun. Craft number three is an advent calendar with a difference. This is one that is going to give you ideas how to be kind to people this year. Lots of lovely ideas on there. So you start by putting your post-it, you've got a little pack of post-it notes, the right size, and you put them over all the squares and then you've got stickers to go on top and on the 1st of December you can start lifting them off and make sure you do what it tells you underneath. The, lastly, there's a string at the top for you to tie in so you can hang it up. And finally, the, the best fun one is a gingerbread man that represents the stranger that was attacked. So first of all, we get the jam and give him some injuries. And should we give him a bit more down his leg there? That's it. And then with the icing, you put the icing round to make him all better. That's his bandage there. I'm sure you'll do it a lot better than I will, but that's basically the idea. So I hope you have lots of fun doing these crafts this month. And there's an instruction leaflet in the bag if you get a bit confused. Bye. May your life in this world be a happy one. May the sun be warm and may the skies be blue May each storm that comes your way Clear the air for a brighter day May the saints and Savior watch over you
such a good song, isn't it? I reckon that's my second favourite song that we sing at Messy Church. I hope you've enjoyed all that we've done this morning and that you've learned something new and that you can enjoy the craft uh, that has been dropped off for you uh, over the weekend. But it's time to pray and remember what we do. We put our hands together and we close our eyes and just repeat the prayer that I pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you for the story of the Good Samaritan. Help us to love as you do so that we can do wonderful things together. Be with us and our families and those we love during lockdown too. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So, uh, in your bags, uh, you should have received a bit of a leaflet explaining what's happening uh, over Christmas. So there is no messy church in December, but we do have a family outdoor carol service on the 20th of December outside on the car park at half past ten, which will be really exciting because we'll be able to sing. So we'll have some... Uh, Christmas carols and some action carols I think as well uh, which will be great fun we still have um, Chris Stingles on Christmas Eve we have three services uh, numbers are limited mums and dads uh, so be sure to book in before it's too late it would be a real shame if you were to miss out on that and I don't think there's any other notices apart from be safe and be blessed, and we'll see you soon. And so we say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all forevermore. Amen. So really good to have you with us this morning, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. And as we say the grace together, remember... When we get to the part that talks about the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, if you're joining in with your family, then please all hold hands together. And if, like me, you're on your own, when we get to that part, give yourself a big hug. And so, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen.